For the 2019 Ram 1500, we had numerous design goals, uh, interior, exterior, uh, all the way down to the, the all new logo that we created. So we wanted everything to be new from the ground up. So what the customers will notice on the 2019 Ram 1500 is proportions. That's first and foremost the thing they will notice from a distance. And a lot of that is due to the uh, credit of the four inch larger crew cab, which translates into a longer wheelbase, longer overall length. Probably the second thing they'll notice is the 22 inch wheel, especially on the Limited. It stands out, it looks great. There is no crosshair on the new truck. It's an RAM grille on the front and a Ram's head on the tailgate. I think it really freshens the design and kind of really moves it forward. Each price class has its own grill aesthetic. Some are variations of others, and then you have different colors and different finishes. If you go to the body side, especially on the two-tone, you can see the two-tone line has a interlocking shape with the body side molding and the shapes above. Uh, same thing when you go to the rear. Uh, you can see it in the tail lamp design. It actually is kind of more of a horizontal statement in the headlamp design. I think it makes the truck look more integrated versus uh, just a layering effect of different elements. When you look at the Limited and you look at the Rebel, we call them the Beauty and the Beast. And I got to thinking about the new aesthetic for the new Ram. It's brutish but at the same time, it's beautiful, and so we kind of came up with brutiful. Regardless of the material that it's made of, whether it's glass or plastic or metal or composite, aluminum, what have you, it looks like, you know, if it were to take a beating, it would survive. I jokingly say, if you hit it with a sledgehammer, it would break the hammer. So we took that to heart and put that into the design of the all new Ram. And we also put that into the logo also. So we wanted it to look unbreakable. It's all about more. It does so much more than today's truck and then what the competitive set does. So much more, more storage, more content, more feature. 22 inch wheels on the exterior and, and you get a couple uh, flavors of those. You have the Rebel, which has its own unique character. Uh, it looks uh, so incredible, the aesthetics of that. 12 inch screen on the interior. The list just goes on and on and on about what this truck does. It's all about more. Our top goals with the truck um, were honestly no compromises. That was a theme throughout the rest of the design of the pickup truck. Um, from an interior standpoint, we really started with an exceptional interior already um, in our Ram truck. So uh, honestly, it was, it was easy from that standpoint. We had a good footing, um, had a ton of stuff that over the years um, we have you know, had input with customers um, on what's worked, what's not worked. Um, and I think we've listened to that, um, something we've been doing a lot lately. So as soon as you step into this vehicle, you're going you're gonna to open the doors. You got, actually got power side steps uh, on the truck now. And so it's kind of an inviting feature um, to really step up inside this, uh, this interior. Yeah, technology is definitely, it's one of my three keys, I think, for the interior development. Um, and for us, it was something we had to not only uh, absorb from designing the screens and the features like that, but we had to absorb it into the overall statement of the interior. And that 12 inch screen uh, really looks at home in the environment. We have redundant controls on either side of the touchscreen. The navigation uh, screen in that system, in that 12 inch screen is amazing. It's um, full screen navigation, uh, pinch to zoom. Uh, you have multi-touch gesture controls. Uh, and the Uconnect system itself can not only display the full screen, uh, it basically takes almost two 8.4 screens and stacks them on top of each other. Storage, uh, it's one of the keys of this pickup truck. Um, at the end of the day, the, the truck can look really beautiful on the outside and the inside, uh, but it's still got to function uh, as a pickup truck. So storage is definitely paramount. Uh, in the front of the compartment, uh, we did a great job at creating this center console. Um, it's uh, one of the best features of the pickup truck. Uh, for me, there's a lot of flexibility with that. Uh, the customers can, can basically use it how they see fit to their needs. 
We also have on the passenger side an upper and lower glove box that's a really a decent sized space. The lower glove box is lockable. And then the rear. Uh, the rear of the pickup truck um, is a great space. Uh, it's really, for me, an area that um, our designers and engineers went crazy in terms of trying to find all the little nooks and crannies and make, make the space very functional. You know, really, at the end of the day, every little place within this truck, every stone has been basically turned over and looked at um, with scrutiny. Um, with all the capabilities that, that this group has in terms of uh, making the best possible truck out there. Our durability testing is generally designed to put the engine through the paces that a customer would and then take it even further. So if any of you have ever used a power drill before, you know how quick the response is when you pull the trigger or release it, starting and stopping the, the motor of the drill. These dynamometers have that exact same capability. So we are able to almost instantly rev the engine to any speed we want or decrease the engine speed to any speed we want. Using the dynamometers in that fashion, we are able to simulate extreme conditions on the engine. Today we are testing a 5.7 Hemi engine with the optional e-torque system, capable of capturing energy during engine decelerations and storing them in the 48 volt battery pack. That energy can then later be used to help during engine accelerations or for engine stop and starts. That technology is imperative to help in increasing our fuel economy. This engine is available for use in the uh, Ram 1500. Some basic durability testing that we do would be to run the engine at peak power for say 200 plus hours, which is 5600 RPM at wide open throttle. We have cells capable of doing deep thermal shock, plumbing the engine with negative 15 degree Fahrenheit coolant, negative five degree Fahrenheit engine oil. We also run tests through our newly upgraded eight speed transmission and four x four transfer cases. In fact, all powertrain components of the Ram 1500 will be tested in similar conditions, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The 2019 Ram also offers an upgraded Pentastar V6 that comes standard with the e-torque system on it. It's specifically tuned for truck duty and rated at 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque. The newest Pentastar V6 includes additional advanced technologies such as wide-range variable valve timing and two-step variable valve lifts. We put our engines through the brutal test that we do to make sure that our powertrains will withstand anything the customer can throw at a vehicle. What's going on here is long-term durability testing of the new Ram 1500 pickup. On our road test simulator, where we recreate the vehicle's reactions that it would have if it were driving over rough road surfaces. How the new Ram 1500 deals with all of this abuse is high strength steel in its frame and body to improve its long-term durability. The five link suspension with progressive rate coil springs and new frequency response damping shock absorbers are dealing with all of that abuse that's coming at it from the road simulator. Hydraulic cab mounts are isolating and cushioning the driver and occupants from what's going on beneath them in there on the simulator. We record responses from vehicles that we drive on our proving grounds. We bring that data and vehicle back to the road simulator and we recreate the responses that we measured as we drove over our durability roads at the proving ground. When the responses match here, what we measured there, the vehicle can't tell the difference between the test I do on the road test simulator and the actual test on the road at the proving ground. Our corporate durability test is anywhere from 20 to 30,000 miles long. Picture yourself driving over abusive roads like what's going on behind me for thousands and thousands of miles over months to accumulate the damage that a customer does in a lifetime of use. The road test simulator can run that in six weeks and, well, not beat up a driver in the process. Our test looks very severe because it really is. 
The roads that we're recreating here are the roads from our proving ground, which are some of the roughest roads you're going to find anywhere. And those roads have to be rough to incorporate the duty cycles that our customers are going to put their vehicles through through a lifetime of service. This truck will endure this testing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the next month and a half. And it's just one of many durability tests that the new Ram 1500 will have to endure to prove its design before it goes into production.